hello everyone in this video I will show you guys how to set up SMTP relay with mail cal server and this is particularly for Google workspace for an example let's say you have a domain configured with Google workspace and you are already receiving mail through Google workspace and you can also send mail through Google workspace but let's say you like to set up another mail server uh, maybe on your home or maybe another cloud data center where you like to send mail from so in that case uh, some of I mean sometimes it happens that some of the cloud providers let's just say Google itself uh, Amazon EC2 or Walter DigitalOcean I mean literally all kinds of uh, cloud provider doesn't allow SMTP by default either you have to request and ask them to open the SMTP which is pretty much a lengthy process and most of the time they deny your request even even if it's happened that if it's if your account is new they are more likely reject your request in such case you need to use SMTP relay and most of the time we use SMTP relay from SendGrid, Mailgun, uh, Postmark most of this time they are pretty much I mean free or they have some kind of limitation let's say 50 or 100 domain 100 mails per day and it happens that all the time those uh, mail IP pool is very uh, poor quality as a result it happens that when you send mail uh, this mail hit to spam so if you already have a Google workspace account and already using a couple of mailbox I strongly recommend to use the Google workspace SMTP relay and which could reduce your uh, bill uh, not using for not using any third-party mail provider like SendGrid or anything so let's see how we can go through and by the way the reason you can use Google workspace uh, uh, there's a benefit let's say you like to do bulk mailing or maybe you like to reduce the cost of creating mailboxes in Google workspace instead you like to use uh, your own mail server and you probably use the Google network to send mail so you don't necessarily need to pay money to Google for adding multiple mailbox which you can provision them on your own mail server uh, I will just go through and probably it will be much easier to explain it on the UI okay here uh, in our last video uh, I show you guys how to configure or, and deploy a SMTP I mean mail server uh, which is mailco open source so this is our mail server pretty much new and in this mail server I already added the domain uh, as you can see the domain is added and particularly for this domain uh, this domain is added on Google workspace and uh, primarily we are receiving mail to Google workspace uh, we are not actually using this server to receive any mail uh, which uh, I will configure this mail server to receive mail in next video but for now I'm gonna set up the SMTP relay so here you can see this check marks is really important if you like to use uh, SMTP relay uh, particularly for this uh, setup and I already provision all the DNS records uh, for example if you uh, see that we have a DKM record for this one and we already created DKM and SPF and other records for Google workspace as well so here if we go to the authentication uh, tab then you can see it's already authenticated and in inside our Google I'm mean inside our DNS records you can see all these records in here so here are uh, a records for mail server and here we added the Google SMTP I mean MX record so technically this means that uh, we are receiving mail to Google workspace and we're gonna use this mail server to send mail from Google workspace 
but it's actually our hosted main server. And here uh, in these three three records, uh, we actually added all the Google IP address because uh, we have lots of mail server to test. So it's not possible to put all this uh, MX, I mean all these SPF records in one which is actually extend our uh, SPF lane. That's why we simplified it in our custom record. But if you just simply use Google Workspace, just put Google Workspace SPF records in here as well as your mail server SPF records in here. And finally, we have DMARC record, which is added here. And optionally, we added uh, uh, SMTP TLS record and BMI records. Uh, which you can add yourself if, if you think you need to go for extra uh, benefits you know and uh, another records you can see your our mail server dkm record our google dkm record uh, we'll be also testing from soho so we also added soho dkm record as well and we also added sandgrid record which we'll be testing in next video tutorials so let's just continue from here so since uh, and oh by the way this mail server doesn't allow us to send any mail um, they're actually from this mail server is from uh, IBM so IBM by default blocks all mail traffic so we cannot send any mail from IBM network so this is why we're gonna use SMTP relay in mail cow server uh, so that we can send mail so for an example, uh, we're going to go to the mailbox, we're going to do a test, uh, let's say, let's go to the webmail, and let's say mail tester, let's just open second one. So let's copy this address. Our site address. Okay, so we're gonna send a mail to that one. It says sent, but I think it will not be processed any longer queue manager if you go to the queue we can see the mail server is, i mean the mail is showing in here but it will probably never be sent because the mail server is not allowed to send any mail so this is the reason we're going to set up the smtp relay so it's going to be always there and if we just see the score we cannot see our score So let's go to the <clears throat> let's go to our Google Workspace and try to set up the SMTP relay. So here in say still on active and pending, basically. Uh, so let's go to the Google Workspace. So here we already added the DKM authentication. That means when you're gonna send mail from Google Workspace, it's signed in. So now let's go Google admin and gmail settings so we're gonna go to the routing so now for routing uh, we're gonna go here in smtp relay service so configure so we're just gonna give a name uh, mail to smtp relay allow sender so when you're gonna check that if you just click allow registered app in my domains so that's actually google cloud things so we're not gonna go we're not going to select that one so instead we're gonna select only addresses in my domain so basically uh, if you have five domain you can send anything before that domain let's say you have example.com so you can literally send anything before example.com 
for an example uh, xyz at example.com support at example.com um, sales dot example from anything so this is why I'm gonna select the second one and now authentication only accept mail from a specific IP so we're gonna set this one so we're gonna tell that uh, which IP address we like to send mail f I mean mail from so let's give its name mail uh, uh, server so IP address of mail comes server so this is the IP address of server so I'm gonna just put it there and if you have multiple IP address range you can put it uh, with the idea so this is just technically one server so I can put slash 32 but just IP is enough safe and if you require to have SMTP authentication uh, then you can check this on so I recommend to check this on and Mailka will uh, use the TLS authentication definitely I will ensure that it should use the TLS authentication so I'm gonna use TLS encryption as well so I'm not gonna select this one because I will use IP authentication so that's why it's not needed for me okay so save so it might take some time to update in Google backend so but it should be propagated already so we're gonna just go ahead and test that and meantime you can see the mail is not yet processed because uh, the mail server is not gonna allow us to send any outbound mail you can see cannot connect to external um, network actually so now let's go to the mail cow so here uh, this is the mail cow interface we go to the admin this is the admin page so here I'm gonna go to the configuration routing and here we're gonna add sender dependent transport uh, this is what actually we're gonna route our mail through so in host we're gonna if we check Google documentation the host should be uh, what is that so here in post fix settings you can see the host should be SMTP relay dot gmail dot com that's what we're gonna copy you can see this is the port 25 they used so we can basically use that but we're gonna do some something else in here so here um, since uh, you can see this is the example how they set it so we're gonna follow this is structure uh, third bracket then the domain name I mean SMTP relay name uh, call a third bracket again then colon instead of using 25 we're gonna use 587 so we are ensuring that we're gonna use TLS port and if you like to use authentication that case you're gonna put username and password so since we authenticated using IP address so we're gonna just click add so now it's added and uh, we're gonna do one more thing uh, which is uh, to ensure that the mail should be encrypted as TLS so we're gonna go ahead and configuration and TLS policy mapping so this is something we like to make sure for better uh, mail security practice so here we're gonna just add a new TLS policy so we're gonna do the same five eight seven and policy should be encrypt and make sure it's active and add so now we added the domain and you can do the test right from here uh, like routing and you can do a test from here like from address so I'm not gonna run the test from here instead I'm gonna make the final changes in domain settings here in domain and i'm going to add the domain name settings and center dependent transport here it says none none means it's actually using the server uh, traffic so i'm going to here and select the gmail one then save so now we selected this domain will route it through the gmail so if I check the mail queue status 
it's gonna be stay there forever maybe so if I just try to requeue them again it will not go through because it was using previous relay which means the mail server relay. so now we're gonna send another mail uh, from same mail account I say this one space relay test send hopefully it will process if everything is all right it should be gone so if we check the relay, we will not able to see the queue message in here because uh, it's actually routed through google workspace so we're gonna wait a couple of seconds because since it's routed through workspace you can see um, uh, we got the mail so we are using google workspace relay and if we check the ip address like here we are seeing something here so this is the ip address you can see client ip so we actually send the mail from Google Workspace instead of uh, our own mail server. So this is how you can send your mail. Um, uh, there it's showing that we have some SPF issue. So some of the tools sometimes uh, show uh, misconfiguration. So we can do another test. Let's open another mail test. So mail is sent. We're gonna check the score. So mail is sent through Google Workspace again. Uh, you can see this is the IP address. So we have SPF issue, so we need to fix the SPF issue. Uh, we should include actually this one. We forget to add that. So that's why actually we having this issue. So if we add that in our SPF records, that case score should be up again. And a part of that you can see DKIM is uh, okay, uh, everything is all right. Like if I refresh, it could take some time to show. You can see now 9.4. And spam assistant, uh, that's not something we need to care about because it's technical setup, uh, so we can skip these things. So, this is how you're gonna set up the Google SMTP relay and also if you use like let's say sandgrid or something so basically you just like to go in routing settings and add your own routing there and you have to just change the domain settings to use that particular routing so if you like this video uh, we expect to have to you to have a like or comment and let us know your thoughts thank you for watching this video